Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I wanna to talk to you guys about something that's been weighing on my chest and I'm a part of Facebook groups, all of these like leveling up, feminine energy, crown princess, goddess glow up. I'm just naming random names, but you know, those type of feminine group about femininity and relationships. And one of the questions that I always see women putting in the comments or one of the things I see women talking about a lot is, oh, I just started dating this guy six months and he's got this much money and he's doing really well and I need him to pay for my rent. I need him to buy me a car. I want him to do all these things to me how do I go about like getting this done how do I go about getting him to buy me all these things and sometimes these same women will be like oh I want a husband I'm looking for a relationship I'm looking for a serious guy and I'm like well baby like do you want a sugar daddy or do you want a husband like you need to learn to manage your expectations and that's what this video today is about is basically about managing your expectations as women especially in this day and age where you know we're all about the soft life and you know you want a guy who's an alpha who's going to provide who's going to protect but what does that actually mean because i feel like that is kind of now getting lost in translation and a lot of women are looking at sugar daddy sugar baby relationships as the normal for normal relationships and it's like that is not the normal that is an arrangement and that is that is some that's a whole different ball game over there and we're going to get into that in a sec but then you also have a real relationship and you guys have to remember there are different types of men you have the 50 50 guys which we're not even talking about like they're over there we don't even care for them then you have the guys who the men shall i say who are in the one percent these are the multi-millionaires the billionaires the super rich men of this world the affluent men of these world the men who can buy you back in like he's nothing who can fly you in first class is normal it's the norm he's gonna buy a house he probably already owns a big massive house and he's gonna buy you this big family house after you have the baby you decide i want to be a housewife for a couple of years and then maybe open a hair salon open a clothing line you know find a hobby that you like and start making money from it there's no pressure because you're with that one percent the one guys remember the one percent yeah who can do that for you but then you have like the normal guys you know you can have a guy who's going to provide and protect but he might not be able to fl um, fly you private jet or fly first class or buy your Birkin bag because he's not your sugar daddy you know and he's not the one percent so first let's talk about the sugar daddy sugar baby relationship on this side of it here. Sugar daddy, sugar baby relationships. I personally have my opinion on them. I'm not going to go into that, but you have to know that when you're going into these relationships, firstly, these men are typically older, they're narcissistic, they're controlling, they use money as a tool. And to me, it's just modern day slavery in a way. Don't get me wrong, you can find men who are not super old and knocking on death's door, who will be able to provide, protect, and be a sugar daddy kind of whatever, and they're not in that category. But maybe they're controlling, maybe they're a little bit disgusting and they want certain things done, you know. You have to know that when you're going going into this type of relationship there's an exchange here there's like okay I'm giving you this and you're giving me this and they don't care if you're intelligent they don't care to marry you they don't care about real sustainable relationships don't get me wrong again some of those relationships can blossom into a real relationship definitely not saying that it doesn't happen I'm sure it does happen but that's very rare that's super super rare but typically those relationships are you know pay my bills buy me a car i want my nails done send me money put me in an allowance that is that type of relationship so if you are going into that relationship that's fine but you can't have those expectations when you're in a normal loving relationship when you have an amazing man who's making good money let's say he's making 70 to 100k plus but he still maybe you still work he's not able to retire you or say babe just chill at home maybe you still work and that's fine being a provider and protector to me means that you as a woman, you already have your own, you know. You don't need a man, you don't want a man, you're not desperate. The moment you become desperate, 
men can smell that and you will be taken advantage of by anyone anyone who feels that you are coming across desperate that you need them they will take advantage of you and also that is not going to sustain a relationship that person won't want to be with you in a long fulfilling relationship because who wants someone who's desperate who wants someone who's completely dependent and reliant on them the whole damsel in distress is cute for like a moment but longevity it is and like you need to be a woman who knows what she wants who has something for herself who doesn't need a man who's able to do everything on her own for herself you're able to pay your rent but do your nails buy yourself a car buy yourself a house you know take care of yourself spoil yourself and when you meet that right guy when you meet that provide and protect guy that husband he will see that he'll see like wow like you know she's she's got that je ne sais quoi you don't need to ask him you should never ever have to ask a guy oh babe buy me this chanel bag oh babe buy me a car oh babe i need my nails done send me money that is very sugar daddy sugar baby relationship if you are with a man who loves you he will want to do these things for you so even though he knows you can pay your rent he might say babe here's your rent money this month you know just keep that money treat yourself or invest that money ah oh, babe here i bought your car because i don't like the way you're always struggling on public transport and i just wanted to ease that pressure for you a man who provides and protects will want to do these things for you because he knows that you can do it for yourself but he loves you so much you've just got that the je ne sais quoi there's something about you that just makes him want to you know just wrap you in cotton wool and protect you from this world and make sure that you're happy and you're not stressed and everything is good and you're okay like that is a provide and protect guy but yes you will still have your own money yes you still work i think a lot of women feel like oh i don't want to work i just want a man to do this and do that and i'm not gonna contribute or i'm not gonna do anything you're just gonna lay on your back and have a man give you everything and that is fine there are those relationships but that is very much an arrangement that is very much a sugar daddy sugar baby and we need to stop placing those sugar daddy sugar baby expectations on normal relationships and not seeing that you're in a very healthy relationship with a man who is looking after you of course let's talk about the one percent there's a one percent of men who are very wealthy who have money who are able to just look after you so maybe you get married he buys the house the family house is in both your names you might decide you know what i got pregnant i'm having a baby now you're not working you have the babies you become a housewife but every housewife has a hobby housewives don't just sit on their back all day they either cook they um they clean they have a hairdressing salon they have you know some sort of side hustle some sort of thing that they do they keep themselves busy they play tennis they go pilates they do yoga and then they might say you know what i'm going to open up my own yoga studio because I really love yoga and I really love this and then because you're with that provide and protect guy that guy will make sure everything is paid for whilst you're working on your hobbies whilst you're working on your dreams he's able to say okay you might not be you might not be bringing in the money babe but i will cover that because i know that you're an ambitious woman you're a go-getter that you are going to have your own and you open this yoga company and that starts making you money maybe he gives you money he helps you to open this um, yoga salon and now you're thriving now you're making money but you're doing something you love and you're with a man who's provided and protected who has created that space for you where you're able to do what you love you didn't have to go to a nine to five and you're not slaving away a job that you don't like because he's able to provide and protect and give you that space to flourish as a woman and work on your dreams and work on your goals then you have the one percent the one percent means you don't have to worry you say babe i want to open a hair salon he says okay babe here's 10k go invest do that there are men out there who can do that but they are so rare there are my, there are men out there who are able to take you on a holiday every week every month jet set lifestyle private jet first class that is the norm and they will do that for you and that will be your life because that's their life and this is normal but not every man is there and that is okay just because a man isn't doing that straight away it doesn't mean he's not providing and protecting i can use myself for example like my boyfriend is amazing i don't worry about nothing but he also knows that i don't need him before he met me 
I was doing great, I was doing all these amazing things for myself. But when we go out, I leave my wallet at home because he's always got me, he always makes sure that I'm taken care of, you know, I don't lift any heavy bags or I don't worry about the bill when we go out. I don't worry, I don't worry about those things. I get sent, I get sent just because flowers, he sends me random gifts, he does random amazing, beautiful things for me because he knows these are the things that I like and it makes me happy. So these are the things he does for me like if I was to spend my money on him he literally is like what are you doing don't do that like no 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 no. that's not allowed I'm not your girlfriend don't do that you know because for him he's like I want you to just use your money to save it to spend it on the things you like and I've got you I'm going to look after you I want to look after you and it's because he sees me doing all these things for myself if me and him were to break up I will still do these things for myself. I'm not dependent on him. My life won't change drastically because I was doing these things before. But because he's got that provide and protect mindset, I don't worry about a lot of things that I probably worried about when I was single because now I have him and he's just amazing and he fulfills so many things for me and I'm able to rest in my feminine and just relax and focus on my dreams and my goals. You should always have you, don't be desperate, don't be 100% dependent on a guy. When you think about a guy buying your nails or doing this or I want a man to do that, you shouldn't have to ask, don't ever, like, lady, stop it. I did a TikTok where I say, I don't ask men for things. Maybe when I was very younger, I did because I was young. I was like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. Or with my ex, I'm like, oh, I want this, I want this. I would never ask my boyfriend to buy me anything. I would never, not because I don't want it, but just because he knows the things I like. Yeah, I might make comments like oh my god this bag is so nice he knows I like that bag so if he now decides that he wants to get me that bag that's great but I would never be like oh you need to buy me this or you need to do this or you need to do that it's giving me desperate it's giving me but can you not buy it for yourself it's giving me sugar daddy sugar baby like if you're looking for a husband a husband you need to learn to manage your expectations you need to learn that not every guy is gonna just because he's not paying for your nails or paying your rent money it doesn't mean he's not someone who provides and protects and when you are a woman who's got it for yourself and you're doing it and it's not in the sense like i'm a strong independent woman i don't need a man I don't do that. I just do it normally. Like, I mean, I need a roof over my head. I'm gonna pay my bills, I'm gonna pay my rent. Like, I need to do that. I need to do my nails. I need to take myself on self-care trips. I do those things naturally for me and I won't brag about it. Like, if you come and date me, you'll just see me doing these things. So if you now decide to say, oh babe, this month I'm gonna pay your rent or this month I'm sending you money to do your nails. Great, thank you, that's amazing. But I will never demand that of you because I'm doing these things anyway. If you, if my husband, husband one day says you know what babe you want to be a housewife just be a housewife focus on you know your content creating and tenacious goddess and I'm going to focus I'm going to pay the bills because I'm in a place where I can manage all the bills I can manage everything and you just focus on building your dreams do that great amazing that is a provider man but just because you ask him to buy you a, a Chanel bag and he doesn't it doesn't mean he's not a provider and protect it means you're looking for a sugar daddy and that's okay if you want to be an escort if you're looking for a sugar daddy that is fine but you can't say that you're looking for a husband you want to get married you're looking for a man but you need him to pay your rent and pay your bills do this do that like to me that's crazy to me that's just like what are you doing like that makes no sense to me um when you're dating men there are certain things you should always do so like for me if i'm dating a guy like i'm not leaving my house if you're not coming to get me coming to get me or you're booking me a taxi here from my house to where we're going and back i'm just not leaving and that's just me but from the when you date me those are the those are the standards that i set from dating me and those are the standards i set for everyone so even my boyfriend like like if we go out he'll always come and get me or he'll send me a taxi in my past relationships they'll come and get me they'll send me a taxi i've always been like that from the beginning and from the beginning i'm not gonna like, buy me this buy me that no like do it yourself like obviously certain things like my safety if you're trying to date me you should care about my safety i'm sorry so either you're coming to get me or you get me a taxi to me that just shows me that you care that you're courting me in that courting phase is where you should be deciding what type of man he is you know seeing the things that he does you know does he come and pick you up does he send you a taxi you know when you go out to eat does he pay for the bill or is he asking to split 50 50 does he open the doors does he pull out your chair is he polite is he courteous to 
the staff these are the things you need to really watch when you're dating someone because that will say a lot about them in a relationship and you set those standards from the beginning you know and that person will know your standards moving forward but manage expectations ladies i'm so tired of seeing these like comments or women saying they've got these amazing men but they don't do x y and z i'm just like come on like you need to be able to you need to have that je ne sais quoi like i always say like a man should want to do things for you he should want to retire you he should want to give you money to fund your business but not because you can't do yourself but because he wants to do that for you because he loves you and he wants to take care of you um obviously men who are dusties men who can't do that men who can't afford it which is fine they're just not there yet they won't be able to do that and you might have to um go through that process of doing that yourself then you just don't need to date those men but then they are men who will love you for who you are who will want to help you and see that you're a very ambitious woman but always be ambitious always have your own don't be desperate and stop asking men for things like learn to have that mystery about you and learn to command a space where a man just wants to do these things for you anyway i hope this video was useful and i hope i kind of explain things to you guys well like this is something that's really been bothering me not bothering me it doesn't bother me but this has been something that's been weighing on my mind and i feel like you know i'm gonna throw my two cents i'm gonna do a youtube video on this topic because i see so many women wanting a normal loving relationship wanting a husband but one it setting it at sugar daddy sugar baby standards and it's like no it doesn't work like that you know so let me know in the comment section what you think what your opinions are if you haven't subscribed already then subscribe and until my next video i'll see you guys then so take care bye